Good evening, my friends. <clears throat> my name is Alan. I am, I'm almost afraid to say it, the armchair detective. See that fear in my voice? <laughs> Come and sit down. Tonight is a debate between myself, my brain, <laughs> and you. You are true crimers. Every one of you gathered around the fire here tonight listening to me the storyteller that is going to shake the world put that in that pipe and smoke it and blow your socks off and game chasing boom another exclusive news here but here on this channel the channel that actually investigates and doesn't do panels or has other creators on or anything other than investigation that's what we do stick the drama up your clap well i'm not a drama channel i am a fact-based investigation channel who spend 10 hours a day investigating things but uh they're so far behind me the other channels are so far behind me it's embarrassing and they embarrass themselves by trying to bring bring me down when i'm the one leading the case some people call it nonsense some call it lies, but because it appears in many different forms, I will call it bullshit. One trick pony. He's a one trick pony. True crime followers, so on social media, have more resources. And by resources, I mean time. We have time. A lot of us are retired or we have time on our hands. We have time to look into cases. But policemen, we have a file and they get said right you can have a week on this file and then close the file honestly that's what happens i've talked to the police missing person case two weeks then it's put in the cupboards they still say they're investigating but they closed they closed the file we don't close the file we look for years that's why they called us armchair detectives but they do it in a derogatory term i'm not here to mince my words <laughs> I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not interested, I'm not interested in conspiracies. I'm telling you police procedure. I've been doing crime for 25, 30 years. But um, I'm getting a bit fed up with detractors who have no talent trying to bring me down when I'm the one doing all the work. They didn't do it, guys. And I feel like I'm talking to no one. I'm being called a conspiracy theorist and let, let Nicola rest in peace and leave him alone. Well, don't they want to know? Don't you want to know? Are you happy to be told in June that there's nothing to see here? Are you happy with that? So I'm back from out of space with major developments. Ground control, the major tour. Uh, but the major reason is to announce. I've got three main points. First one I released today on my red channel, a lot of people watching it. Could you hold a phone in front of your face for 30 minutes, non-stop, 
by walking the dog on a lead sometimes and off the lead other times. Could you concentrate and keep your hand up there in the freezing cold? I'm going to share gloves on for 30 minutes non-stop. Or would you have earbuds in and put the phone in your pocket and just listen? Remember, so, mic's off, the mic's off and the camera's off. And yet we're supposed to believe she really, really, really always has a phone in front of her face watching something that's probably not even any pictures. As far as I know, it's a blank screen. I don't think anybody had the cameras on. But she's watching it for half an hour nonstop. The impossible. See what you think. Someone pulling the wall down over the place. His faces. Are they not listening? Personally, I call it BS. <laughs> but that's just me. Just try it yourself at home. Try walking around with the face with your face directly in front of your phone for 30 minutes and see how long you last. Because well, that's what we're being told. Becky says she imagine standing like this on a field where there could be horse poo, dog poo, cow poo, lamb poo, <laughs> any poo. And I wish the police would actually investigate. Some people wonder why are you still talking about this case? Because it stinks. And the stench is overpowering. The phone would be in her pocket. Um, I know. She always watched her phone. That'd do it. Rubbish. BS. Just Becky. You try picking something up for half an hour non-stop. Dealing with a dog. Put it, how do you take an... Right, you've got this harness dog. And you're watching this with the phone in front of your face. And you stop. Willow, come here, take its harness off by still watching this call in one hand and taking the harness off with the other. And according to Paul, she's got a bottle of vodka in her other, other hand, but she's only got two hands. Say what? And according to Paul, she's got a bottle of vodka in her other, other hand, but she's only got two hands. That is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. It's deflammatory. That's their words. YouTube. Deflammatory, my dear. There is something very, very fucking mentally wrong with you, Alan. Because yet again, here you are deliberately inflicting further pain into an already unimaginable, heartbreaking tragedy for the purpose of treating it like it's your very own sick and twisted personal scripted dinner theater performance. This whole Alan's making it up as he goes along category consists of outright insulting, condescending, and totally disparaging alcoholic references, along with all the crude and sensitive critical and self-fabricated claims of vodka now being thrown in this whole mix. He's taking and making up words, then twists them completely out of context. Absolutely no one ever said Nicola had her phone in front of her face continuously for 30 minutes while she was walking Willow. Ellen literally put those very exact words into Detective Superintendent Rebecca Smith's mouth. Because what she actually really did say was, and I quote, It's really normal. For Nicola went on a teen's call to be holding her phone out in front of her listening to it. End quote. All Alan has done is waste everyone's time and energy acting like some big shot uncovering the key to brilliantly disproving some factor that ultimately he was the one solely responsible for intentionally and deliberately concocting. God, he's such a revolting creature. In a team's call, to be holding her phone out in front of her, listening to it. Implausible, but that's what she that's what she's told by her friend, right? So she's doing it like this, isn't she, Becky? Why don't you show us? The woman's missing. She's got two children. The woman's missing. She's not going to just, oh, I think I'll just kill myself today. She's not going to do that. She's not an alcoholic. I've just showed all the water in the boot of her car. She drinks water. She's been on that route a thousand times. If someone's walked that 
precise route because of a Fitbit a thousand times. Do you think she's an alcoholic? A thousand times. She's a something-holic, a fitness-holic is what she is. She's fit as hell. Every day, a thousand times. And that's just that walk. I don't know if she goes to the gym and all the other things. I know she does running. She got running for this and running for that. She ain't got time to be a damn alcoholic. She hasn't got time to be an alcoholic. She's a mother of two. If she's an alcoholic, why is she driving? Why is she driving if she's an alcoholic? It don't fit. None of it fits. You talk about us giving misinformation. That's the worst information I've heard in a case for a long time. Because you misled the public who were trying to help into believing that she couldn't have harmed herself. All you had to do was say, look, she's had a few problems in the past and we think she might be in, at risk. That's all you had to say. Say she was, you, if, you, if you have to be pushed into, say, HRT problems with drugs and that, do that. Don't, don't embarrass the woman and make her seem like an alcoholic. Well, she probably just had a drink at the end of the night or something. I don't know. She, she, most of the time she's going to work as a mortgage broker most of the time she's taking her kids to school most of the time she's playing with her kids most of the time she's cooking being a mother and yet forever in history now she's painted as an alcoholic drug addict Police can't win. They're like me. They can't win. We were criticised for disclosing the summer significant issues with alcohol, which has resurfaced over the months. Yeah. So she's issues with alcohol in the past, right? Long term alcohol problems. They've resurfaced over recent months because of the hormone replacement she was on. Hormone hormone replacement tablets. And the alcohol, the alcohol resurfaced. I only see her drinking water. Who told them this? And according to Paul, she's got a bottle of vodka in her other, other hand, but she's only got two hands. I was trying to find a way to prove that Nicola wasn't drinking that morning. I think I did it. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm usually right. I believe this is water bottles in the car. And the fact she had so much water leads me to believe that Alcohol doesn't play a massive part in someone's life when they're a fitness fanatic. <laughs> they drink a lot of water. Nicola Bully takes a water bottle out of her day and carries it to the car. She's got the water bottle in her hand. There it is. Thank you very much. At this point, I want to destroy another myth. The myth that Nicola Bully is some sort of alcoholic, at-risk alcoholic. Why is she keeping so much water in her boot? It's because she's a fitness freak. She works out. She walks miles a week. She looks after her body, food-wise. You can see that. She's not an alcoholic. There would be bottles of wine in the boot. There's bottles of damn water. These fitness fanatics drink gallons of water. That's why she's got it all in the boot. That's her car. In Paul's car, you won't see all the water. They're in our car because she is addicted to drinking water, not wine. And according to Paul, she's got a bottle of vodka in her other, other hand, but she's only got two hands. Well, you dirty eating piece of slime, you scum sucking pig, you son of a motherless goat. In my opinion, that's all it was water. Water bottles, bottles of water. On here is another set of water bottles. If you look at the ones closest to you, they've all got the same label on each one. Label, 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 label. Lid, 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 lid. Water, water, water. Another little label around the bottom. That 
there's a case of water. There's an open case of water. Me, Nicola Bully, takes one of those water bottles and clearly gets in the car with one of them. People like me should work with the police. I could have found that months ago and gave that to the police so they could have had some comfort in what she was drinking and not drinking. Okay. I have never heard someone say so many wrong things, one after the other, consecutively, in a row. I just wanted to let everybody know, and my patrons, that because of you, the book is reality. You are the guys that kept me going for three years. It's certainly not YouTube. YouTube, I couldn't even pay my rent on YouTube. I mean, they've told the Rusex I'm earning hundreds of thousands off YouTube. It's pennies, pennies from heaven. The facts are clear now. It's all about the money. Yeah, you did well there, mate. Look at what, you, look what you've done to me. Ah, no. Get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit. So it's together. And if you got to take it somewhere, take it somewhere, you know? Take it to the shit store and sell it. Or, or put it in a shit museum. I don't care what you do. You just got to get it together. Get your shit together. You don't know Jack!